Hey guys, welcome to the fifth episode of Rachel and Hashel. My friend Rachel here is here to talk about life in France with me. Give it up to Rachel. Hello, Hashel. Oui, pas mal. Merci pour m'inviter. Ça va, Hashel? Great, thanks. So, as you can see on the title, we're going to talk about milk today. More precisely, dairy products. Cool. <laughs> After shopping in the local but huge supermarkets in, the fe uh, in this town for a few times, I realized that you could not buy fresh milk in the supermarkets. Pourquoi tu es choquée? On a du lait, mademoiselle. Yeah, but it's not the same. I realized later from my colleagues that they only sell um, pasteurized or some say sterilized milk here because um, they last longer. So the best before dates are like a few months later and to store it you don't have to put it in the fridge which is weird for me. Oui, en fait tu peux acheter du lait dans un supermarché dans une grande ville uh, ou tu peux l'acheter dans une ferme. Alors qu'est-ce que tu fais en Angleterre? We have fresh milk in every supermarket and even convenience stores and you can also buy milk from farms I think. I only bought milk once or twice here be between these two months because it tastes a bit funny to me. D'accord. Alors, les deux types ont un goût différent? I'm not used to the taste, so I'd say there's quite a lot of difference. Luckily, they have a lot of almond milk, soy milk, and like other, uh, like rice milk, and other kind of milk in the bio products section. So I get my calcium from those products mainly. D'accord. J'espère que tu restes ma chère. Don't worry about me. Let's talk about the other dairy products here. There are so many. Oui, on a beaucoup de produits laitiers. On a du fromage, um, du yaourt, du fromage blanc. Yeah, in Hong Kong there are many choices and cheese are very very expensive. Some can be five times the price here. Tofu in Hong Kong is very popular and in the UK not at all, I think. Unless you go to um, an Asian restaurant. And in France they are very expensive in general. And it's one of the most genetically modified food there is, I think. Um, that's why French people don't really eat it so often. Oui, bien au contraire, euh, le tofu n'est pas le plus sain quoi. Nous aimons les produits bio ici, mais pas beaucoup de génétiquement modifiés. Um, I guess maybe I should eat less tofu or bean curd then. Eat more fresh salad. Yes, I will. Um, thank you so much for watching this episode, guys. Feel free to comment below the things you want to know about France or the UK or maybe Hong Kong. I'll try to make a video about it. So this is the end of the episode. I hope um, you have a good day and have learned something from this video. Bye. Uh, also, I want to share with you other playlist I have. You can click here for the songs that I wrote. Um, they're not a lot and the quality is not the best, but if you're interested. Um, yeah. Here you can find the previous Rachel and Hashem video that I made. Um, thank you very much. Like, have a good one, s'il vous plaît. Merci par avance.